Hey guys, so today's video is my new in September video. It doesn't seem like five minutes since I did the August one and I genuinely cannot believe that autumn is coming or is here. Um, in case you haven't noticed, why am I pulling it? I'm kind of excited about it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about all the exciting things coming out in September. I'm gonna start off with skincare and this video is actually sponsored by Garnier um, for the launch of their new tissue masks, which I'm super excited about. Um, I love, love, love tissue masks and these ones are really different. They're called the Fresh Mix tissue masks and they look like this. There's actually two in the range. There's the Replumping Shot, which is uh, formulated with hyaluronic acid. I personally love using a hyaluronic acid serum in my skincare regime, so having a mask version is amazing and this is so good. And then the other one is the uh, glow shot one, which is vitamin C based. So this is kind of targeted to brighten your skin and even out the complexion, whereas this one is all about hydration and replumping. Um, so this is actually my favorite one. I've used both of them. I've only used this one once, but I've used this one, well, obviously they're, they're single use, but I've used a few of these ones and I absolutely love it. There's 30 mil of product in this bottom section. So that's like a whole bottle of serum um, that you basically, I'm gonna show you this in um, a close up because you can see it a bit better, but you fold it halfway there and then halfway the other side and then you squeeze up the product. It goes up into the mask section and then you kind of like massage it and mix it in to the actual tissue itself. And it's made with, I think I'm gonna say this right, an alginate polymer, um, the mask itself. So when the serum comes into contact with the tissue, it turns into a kind of like jelly texture and you can then put it onto your face and it is very like well fitted. Some sheet masks, not very well fitted. They look horrendous. The other thing I really like about this is it pretty much goes see-through. Like it not, not completely see-through, like you can tell it's there, but it's not like white. So it doesn't look as ridiculous as a lot of other sheet masks. And it's just a really, really lovely kind of plumping, hydrating mask to use. I personally would use this a couple of times a week and just, especially like before a, a special event, just really makes your skin kind of feel, that almost makes it feel a bit alive again. And that's why I love hyaluronic acid serum in general, but this is like an extra boost. They're $3.99 each and they are available now. I'll pop a link below to that and everything else that I talk about in this video. Um, if you fancy checking them out, I would recommend it. I actually worked with Garnier earlier um, last month for the launch of their under eye masks as well, which are awesome. If you haven't tried those out, they're also very good. So those are the Fresh Mix tissue masks and they are out now. Another skincare launch that's coming this month, I'm really excited about. This is the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules. As you guys will know, um, I am a massive fan of, well, you might not know if you don't watch my videos all the time, but I'm a massive fan of retinol products. Elizabeth Arden are famed for their ceramide products, but what they've done with these capsules is to put ceramide and retinol into one capsule. Their reasoning behind doing this is because when retinol is exposed to sunlight, it breaks down and becomes less effective. So essentially by having them in capsule form, you are getting like the most powerful form of retinol um, that you would have. So it's kind of like having a new jar every time. I've used these a couple of times. I love the texture, they're almost, like a kind of like smoothing primer kind of feel. Very, very nice on the skin. Um, I haven't used them for a long period of time, so I can't comment in terms of like actual results from them, but I love retinol in general for um, actually doing something for my skin, unlike a lot of other products that you kind of use and you don't really see kind of tangible results. Um, they are expensive. I think they're around the, I think they're 40 something pounds for 30, which is a smaller pack. This is a 60 pack, which is around 70 pound mark. And they are coming out at the beginning of this month. Very excited for those. Um, two new skin care launches from Kiehl's. You guys know I love Kiehl's. Um, the first one is the Ultra Light Daily UV Defense SPF 50 CC Cream. So this is the SPF 50 that I use all the time. I absolutely love it. It's the lightest kind of most fast absorbing formula. Absolutely love it. Um, and they've launched a tinted version, which is so good. Very, very light, definitely doesn't have the coverage of some of the other kind of tinted moisturizers that I use. Um, the Chanel one that I mentioned recently that I've been using, this that definitely has more coverage. It's more akin to like a, a medium coverage foundation or a light coverage foundation, whereas this is definitely a tinted moisturizer, but it is very, very good. And if you like that SPF 50 moisturizer and you're looking for tinted moisturizer, look no further. And how cute is this dinky packaging? Um, I think it's 30 mil, yeah, it's 30 mil, but really cute packaging. And then the other thing they're launching this month is the Youth Dose Eye Treatment. And this is, again, a retinol treatment. It's actually 
a lot less common to find retinol products for around your eye area, which I always look for because that is the first area that I've noticed to start to kind of age, sadly. Um, but yeah, it's with pro retinol, grape seed extract and vitamin C, so multi-power to smooth hydrate and brighten. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks because I've been working with Kiehl's for the launch of this and it's really, really good. Like I am a massive, massive fan of this. Very excited that that's coming out this month. Then um, also, if you want all of the prices, release dates, and um, the links for these, I will put everything below so you have everything if I'm not mentioning them. Another skincare launch coming out this month is one that I haven't tried because it's not suited for my skin, but I think a lot of you will be excited to see this because it's from Caudalie, one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, they are releasing the Vino Pure range, which is targeted for blemish prone skin. Um, like I said, not my kind of skin, but it will be exciting for some of you. It has a natural form of salicylic acid in it. Um, it has a toner, a serum, and a mattifying moisturiser as part of the range. So that's out this month as well. So if you have um, blemish-prone skin, then maybe worth checking out if you like Caudalie. I love Caudalie, personally. And then last, but certainly not least on the skincare front, another one that I haven't tried yet, but it is next on my list of things to try, is the new Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. So I love the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser and the... Um, face wash scrub thing as well, it's really good. Um, they are launching this, which is an on-the-go eye cream. I'm not sure about the on-the-go element because normally you wouldn't put it on on-the-go because I would have makeup on, but um, it has this weird applicator. It's like a little sponge um, and you can kind of dab it on. I guess that makes sense with the on-the-go, so like you don't have to use your fingers. Um, it is actually like a little finger, the way it works. Um, really cooling, excited to try it. Um, the original ginseng is very kind of brightening and um, I can t I can feel this on my hands. It's gonna be good. It's like zing, literally zing. I mean, I feel like that was so set up and it wasn't. It's called gin zing, and I just said zing. Let's just ignore me being embarrassing. Um, that's coming out this month as well. I actually think that might have come out at the end of last month. And then another thing, moving on to the makeup kind of section. Another thing that actually came out last month, but I wanted to talk about it because. I was personally not a fan, and I know there was a lot of hype around this mascara. It's the new NARS Climax Mascara. It has the coolest packaging. It's got an amazing looking wand. It does wondrous things for your lashes. However, this flaked on me really badly. Um, the staying power just wasn't good. I would liken it to the Charlotte Tilbury mascaras in that sense. Like, I put them on, and half a day later, like, my mascara is like flaked all over my face. However, some people love the Charlotte Tilbury mascaras, so I'm sure some people will love these, but they just don't work for me. Um, well, these, this, it just doesn't work for me. So um, that's the new NARS Climax mascara that's just come out. Another thing on the lash front that's coming out is from Maybelline, it's the Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. I was really excited by this because lash serums have normally been something that are reserved for the high-end market. They're normally really pretty expensive, things like Rapid Lash, Lilash, Lash, etc. Um, I know Elizabeth Arden do one as well. Maybelline have brought one out this month. It has a little kind of like doe foot applicator that you apply it with. It's part of the Lash Sensational range, so it's designed to go with the mascara, and you're meant to use it um, evening and, morning and evening, sorry, that makes sense, morning and evening. The difference with this and a lot of the other kind of lash serum type products is that this actually goes on your lashes as opposed to on your skin. So it's more about improving the condition of your lashes. I'm actually doing a project with Maybelline on my Instagram this month, testing this out. This video is not sponsored by them. I just wanted to mention it because I think it's really exciting. Um, so that, if you want to follow my progress using this, I'm gonna be trying it out for a whole month, then head over to my Instagram and check out my stories. Another thing on the makeup front that's coming out this month that I thought was probably one of the best kind of makeup launches of the month was the new Bobbi Brown um, Autumn Winter Collection. This is their camo collection. How cool is this packaging? I absolutely love it. There's quite a lot of things in the collection, but I've picked my favourite things to show you. I know there's some lipsticks and some gel eyeliners as well, um, but this is the palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has these beautiful kind of neutral but still different colours. So 
I actually have dark green eyes and I feel like this palette will be really good for me because um, it kind of matches my eyes. I feel like it will bring out the green. It's got these kind of like neutral um, matte shades. It's got four mattes and then two shimmers. And then it's got this gorgeous golden highlighter shade, which is absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, gorgeous palette. That's I think 49 pounds and coming out at the beginning of this month. And then they also have two single eyeshadows as part of that collection as well, which one of them is like a gorgeous metallic khaki green. And then the other one is this insane like rose gold, duochrome i mean just i'm going to do close-ups but look at it it's just stunning absolutely gorgeous and then the other thing that's coming out in that same collection are two nail varnishes and i'm a fan of the bobby brown nail varnishes every single autumn they bring out gorgeous gorgeous kind of like winey berry color and this year they've brought out two there's one that's like a kind of taupey camo color but it has a gold shimmer to it and then the other one is almost like uh, gray taupe with like a like a mulberry shimmer. It's absolutely stunning. This is going to be the next color that I paint my nails for sure. Another thing that came out, I think, at the end of August, or maybe it was the beginning of this month, um, was the Dolce Gabbana Millennial Skin Tinted Moisturizer. Personally, this one's not for me. Too light a coverage, but in comparison, I should have put this next to the Kiehl's one. In comparison to the Kiehl's one, I just feel like it just wasn't. I get the whole millennial skin thing. It's very, very dewy, very fresh looking, but it's just not enough coverage for me personally. Um, and a little bit too shiny. Like I feel like I don't like a matte finish and this was too shiny for me personally. Another thing that's launching on the makeup front um, are these, well there's actually two different launches from Bourjois. The first one are the Healthy Mix Sorbet Blushes. And these are kind of like a gel blush. They're a very light texture. I've given these a go and personally I think they're too light like for me they just don't really do anything if you're the kind of person who likes that like no makeup makeup look and really doesn't like a full-on kind of blush look I just think maybe you would like them they're just very 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 sheer and they're also like not the kind of texture that goes that well over the top of foundation either in my opinion like I feel like they would kind of fight with foundation so if you want like a kind of really fresh look I mean they'd probably go quite well with the DNG um, tinted moisturizer to be fair. I also think it's a weird time of year to launch a product like this I think it's a very summery product that you would potentially wear like on holiday when you're not wearing any base And they're launching them in September. It seems strange to me. The other thing that they're launching. I prefer these are the um, Lumin Oh the glow primer. Sorry. I'm reading the French side um, These are the glow primers and there's apricot vitamins and pink radiance so There's like a pinker version and an orange version these are nice. I personally, primers are a bit hit and miss with me. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. And I'm not, I don't know, I'm not drawn in by these massively, but they are quite nice. I've tried and tested them and they, they are nice on the skin and leave like a nice glow. Um, but yeah, I feel like once you'd put your foundation over the top, maybe it wouldn't actually like be a thing over the top of that. Um, another thing that's launching that actually I'm a big fan of are these fresh sugar lip wonder drops these are kind of i mean i feel like they sound like a really new product because they're called wonder drops but actually they're kind of just like a lip serum which isn't necessarily anything new but it's a new thing for fresh i feel like they're basically formulated with ahas so they're meant to exfoliate your lips but at the same time be kind of hydrating and plumping and make like the perfect base for lip makeup having had extremely dry lips for the past few months um, these are really really nice and they actually do help to get rid of the dead skin whilst at the same time not being like a scrub like a manual scrub on your lips um, very interesting worth trying out if you go past a fresh shop or if you're in Sephora or whatever um, in the States really nice and then last actually no not last but not least last on the makeup front is a new palette from Tarte this is the Tartlets um, blush book I love Tarte products, I really, um, I think they are brilliant and the blushes are some of the best products that they make, they last a seriously long amount of time and this palette, I think it's around, I got the US press release and I think it's $44 or something like that, so for that price you get a lot of product, like this is serious bang for your buck, you get 8 blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter, the one thing that I would say is that the bronzer is not matte so it's shimmery so if you don't like shimmery bronzers then maybe that will be a thing but it's a really nice mix of um mainly matte blushes but they, they do have a couple that have a little bit of shimmer through them too really nice selection of colors there's some brighter ones but they're still wearable and then there's the more kind of natural daytime ones i love this one study sesh 
Um, it's a beautiful like um, slightly peachy rose colour with a little bit of gold kind of fleck running through it. Yeah, I thought that was quite cute. Um, it's kind of obviously along the back to school theme as well. And last but not least, a new fragrance in the Shalimar family from Guerlain. I think the original Shalimar actually came out in like 1925. Um, and I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of it, but this new version is actually really nice. And it smells a little bit more modern to me. Um, it has, it's a little bit more of a floral kind of take on the original, so it's like vanilla and jasmine. I actually quite like this. And I, like I said before, the original is not my favorite. I think Guerlain fragrances are, obviously because a lot of them have been around for such a long time, a lot of them do feel quite mature and like your mum or your grandma would wear them, whereas this is a little bit, it feels a little bit younger to me and it's definitely something I would wear. It's like a little bit kind of fresher and um, yeah, more youthful feeling. So that's Chalimar Souffle de Lumiere, also really like the name. Um, yeah, that is it for my new in September guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you're excited for coming out this month. If there's anything that I've mentioned that you're thinking about picking up um, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.